When you've got a particular function or set of processes or methods that you reuse a lot in your PD patches, it's a good idea to create an abstraction that essentially is a reusable object you can change once and then its functionality will change across all of the patches in which it is incorporated. So the way that we do this in PD is really simple. We create a PD patch that has the functionality we want and then we reference that PD patch in another patch. So one thing I like to do is I like to calculate BPM and use that a lot in different uh, patches but there is actually a BPM object that works not the way that I want it to. So this particular object here uh, will take in quarter note time, give you uh, measure frequency, and it's, it's really MIDI based. I'm not looking for that at all. Instead I'm looking for um, some sort of beat unit that is uh, piped in, in terms of a number and then to divide by 60,000 and give me the result in milliseconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a patch called beats per minute. So you would create a new document and save it um, with a name and this is going to be your object name later. We'll see in a bit. Okay so I have an object here or a patch called beats per minute now I'll create my equation for finding BPM, or finding rather the milliseconds from BPM. So 60,000, division object, connect 60,000 to the hot inlet of the division object. And then we need the number to divide by, which is going to be the number fed into the object. So we need an inlet. And as well, we're going to need an outlet for the result. And since we need to feed the number, then bang the equation, we'll need a trigger for that. So trigger bang float. And we'll pipe the inlet into, actually, let's not forget one critical step here, which is let's create a float object, pass the number through, pass the result out to the trigger, pass the float into the cold inlet of the division, and then the bang to perform the equation. And to just debug it here, we'll create a number atom, pipe that into the float, a number atom for the result, and drag upwards. And as we hit 60, we should get 1000. And it works. So now, what I'll do is save this, and close the patch, Go to my preferences, PD extended and preferences, choose path. And now I want to find where on my computer the folder is that contains that patch. So choose edit and look on the computer. It's in this folder, HDES abstractions. You can see it grayed out. Choose and OK. So now I'll create a new patch. And when I create my object, it's the file name, but without the extension, beats per minute. So no .pd. You can see that an inlet and an outlet is created according to how many inlets and outlets are in the patch. And if I right click it and choose open, I actually get the patch so I can edit it. So the idea is to feed it uh, some floats and it'll give you floats. So as I hit 60, I'll get 1,000. Now, when you've used objects in PD, you've noticed that some objects have creation arguments. So it's perfectly uh, reasonable for this object to have a creation argument. So let's go ahead and edit the object. To make a creation argument, there's just a simple addition to our existing patch. In the float object, we'll type dollar sign $1. One. So the dollar sign and the number refer to the first um, creation argument. So if I had a second creation argument, it would be dollar sign two. Save this, go back to my other window. And now I'll create a new beats per minute 60, create a bang and the result. 
and it works. So obviously the way to use this would be to use our favorite metro, use beats per minute, let's say 90. Okay, so this is feeding out milliseconds. Then we just need some sort of bang at the top, but actually we could use a bang or a number atom to later change the value. Okay, we'll need a toggle to start and stop the metro. We wouldn't feed the toggle straight into beats per minute because remember a toggle is sending out ones and zeros, so you don't want to send out a one to beats per minute. That would not be good. So we use the bang as a kind of um, conduit for that. Okay, we'll create a bang down here so we can see the tempo. Make note 64. And then what I'll do with make note is I'm going to use the uh, rightmost inlet since it's duration. Just tie that to my beats per minute because it is also ex expecting milliseconds. And... Oh, I need a pitch. Let's choose 60. Okay. Now do note out. One. And we're ready to go. Cross our fingers. So I should be able to make it go faster. So a faster BPM, let's say 152. So as you can see, creating your own abstractions can really open up uh, your use of PD by creating reusable objects that uh, mean you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you've got to perform a similar function in another patch.